Well, well, well. Solar's in. Tesla batteries are in. New windows in. I don't think we've gotten to that yet. And if you look, our tolerances are wicked tight. That's on the window. That's about three eighths of an inch. I think it's a quarter inch on the window. Um, this one's a lot better. But yeah, plumbing sliding up and down on the inside perfectly. All the wires are going up and down on the roof inside perfectly. Perfectly. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go get some diesel so I can power up the, uh, the furnace for the next month. <laughs> but yeah, we're good to go. Heading down the road. There have been some changes in the rig and instead of going through all the processes I was gonna go through, I thought I'd do an up-to-date video and I'll catch up with all the stuff that I have to catch up with at another time. So inside the rig, there is a kitchen area and some plumbing and electrical kind of in the slide out and functional. Plumbing's not functional yet, but will be soon. Fridge is in and functioning. Uh, microwave pads in, the bed has been notched and that is because of the bar in the dinette area, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, obviously, I have my sliding mechanism around my um, vent pipe, which is working perfectly well, as is this one. Being close to Christmas, I got a package yesterday. As Coincidence would have it and I thought I'd test fit that package So I get to put these in and kind of see how comfy they are. They are comfy. This is the dinette and That is the couch and Sitting in the dinette oh, Is super nice I put my feet up on the other side uh, and chill but my boots do not go well with new fabric you can kind of see there is, let's see, where am I sitting? There is a clearance issue. If you're, if you're at six foot tall, you might be uh, bonking your head in here, but um, I'm not, so I don't. Uh, the couch sits a bit lower because these guys go off of this floor and the couch goes off of that floor. So it's four inches difference. So you can see the height difference, the couch cushions, and the dinette cushions. But yeah, also, oh, super comfy, super colorful, digging it. And then, and then there's that. In addition to my lovely furniture addition, there has been another upgrade that I am beyond excited about. And that upgrade is that boys and girls? <laughs> Santa Claus is coming to town. I mean, wait a minute. That's a box. That is a wooden box. How could you possibly have enough energy in that little space to power this massive rig? Well, guess what? Let me show you. There it is in all its beauty. Twenty kilowatt hours of power packed in that little spot. Incredible! <laughs> Tesla batteries are in and they're working. Uh, I still have to get my cooling system or heating system installed and I'm still gonna work on getting, they're not in yet, we can see back there, the little cable for the BMS and the thermistors I have to get installed and the BMS, which is a dilithium BMS and you can find that at EV West, 
Kevin over there uh, really knows what he's doing and took care of me on getting this set up. And that BMS is specifically for these Tesla batteries. Um, so yeah, batteries are in. Unbelievably tight. Um, I had a gentleman assemble this for me off site and we spent three days mounting this and the Tesla batteries and this little guy and getting everything hashed out and worked out and all the parameters set and that my friends is 10,000 watts of power. It's 248 volt 5,000 VA 70 amp charger inverters and that was probably one of the biggest things to deal with along with the Tesla battery as far as making these guys work correctly together for the lithium batteries because these are really set up for lead acid generally they have a, a lithium parameter but anyway like I said it's a little tight I have a little metal exposed here that'll get wrapped in fiberglass because I have my most positive and it's actually three quarters of an inch away but just in case things move because I'm gonna lock the rig down and go get some fuel so I have to bolt this into place but that is my most positive coming off of this front pack and this is a uh, two Tesla modules in series so I have a, a jumper from here to here tying my negative on the bottom module to the positive on the top module and then my most negative comes out here and heads up into a shunt up inside here let's see if I can get that open with one hand so there's my shunt this guy right here is what measures all of my power going in and out of the battery bank and out of the quattros and then shows up on that guy which is the LCD color control we'll get back to that in a second so I have four modules two in series here and then behind them two more in series so the two packs are in parallel because they're 24 volts a piece and when I tie them into series they become 48 volts so this pack this is this one by itself is 24 this is 24 but since I'm bringing them in series it jumps the voltage up to 48 so I have two 48 packs and they are providing power for everything and let's see we'll walk through this a little bit at a time so there's the packs wired in the negatives come into the shunt the positives come in down here into a um, bus bar basically and it runs across um, this breaker two 200 amp breakers and then that goes into the quattros um, where does it come out right there goes into the quattros um, and basically the way this works is this guy as it says is the master this one's the slave so this has all the control this just kind of follows along but can help the cool thing about these quattros is one of the cool things is what's called power assist and I can be pulling 30 amps from shore power and my breaker panel can be requesting 60 or 70 amps and these guys can increase the amperage up to 70 amps by pulling the extra juice out of the batteries um, so it's pretty incredible that's one of my favorite things about these guys other than the fact that there's 10,000 watts um, in there so I also have on the bottom of this bus bar a 48 volt lead going to my breaker here and this breaker controls my um, 48 volt to 12 sorry to 24 volt DC to DC converter because my fridge and water pump will be 24 volts and then the, this is where the leads come out and go back to the breaker panel to feed that and then it comes up through this chase um, and it heads to another breaker uh, which I think is a 10 amp um, for my 48 volt to 12 volt DC to DC converter for my 12 volt side of my panel and there's the panel 
up and operational. Everything's functioning. Uh, back to this. Um, I also have solar, if you watched my last video, coming in through the roof. And it is going into this chase and goes into these breakers and then goes out through my, or goes into my um, MPPT charge controller. And then this guy um, talks to my BMV 712 Smart controller and my LCD um, color control. Um, and this, this setup, guys, is beyond incredible. The information you can get out of this is just overwhelming. It's This red guy is usually for shore power. Um, it'll tell you what the quattros are doing. My AC loads are minimal right now, um, but it tells you what your AC is. My solar coming in, uh, it's almost Christmas, and I have 800 watts of solar coming in at 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, it's actually, you can see the flow direction, so it's pushing um, amperage into my batteries and actually charging my batteries. Um, but you can go into, like so far this morning, 10.30, I've generated a kilowatt um, right there of power so far. And it's the sun's really low on the horizon and my panels are flat on the roof. So you can go through and go into the BMV settings and see what's going on. You can go into the Quattros, those guys, and kind of check what's going on. You can go into the smart control, smart solar controller, and that's where kind of where we're at, just to see what my daily history was. Um, so this thing just gives you an incredible amount of uh, versatility and flexibility and control um, over your system. But there it is. I have to pack up the, lock up the Teslas yet. Um, but there's a quick overview of what a 2,000 watt solar system powering 20 kilowatt hours of tesla batteries 22 kilowatt hours of tesla batteries looks like um, this will be self-sustaining and off-grid capable for an indefinite amount of time as long as there's some sun so that's the sneak peek into what santa claus set me up for this christmas kids he doesn't come around very often anymore because well, I'm old. But uh, this year he made an exception. Relish, relish in the awesomeness. Ooh. Hope you guys all have a Merry Christmas or have had a Merry Christmas, depending on when you see this. And I hope you tune into my channel to see how I put this together and how it works because I will go into that at a later date um, as I start using this thing. But so far, I've had it up for about two days now, kind of running, troubleshooting things, and uh, it's amazing. It is truly, truly, truly amazing. So I am thrilled and I am thrilled to share this with you guys. So like, subscribe, and throw me a comment. I'll be happy to answer. Peace out, Tube. <laughs> Peace out, Tube.